What's up guys, this is David from How To Ghost, and today I'm gonna to give you a quick overview of the public API that Ghost just came out with. So the first thing you need to do is if you haven't updated Ghost already, go ahead and do that. And then since it's still in beta at the time of this video, go ahead and go to your lab section in the admin and then make sure that public API is checked. So from here, you now have the public API enabled and you can go ahead and start doing get helper queries or regular API queries. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is how to list all of the authors and also how to list all the tags in this navigation menu. So I've already gone ahead and done it, so I'm not gonna write the code right now, but I'm gonna go through it. So you can see if I go to the menu, that here's a list of the authors, I only have one at this point, and then here's a list of all the tags on the blog. So each of them has a link to the authors and their posts, and then here's a link to the tags and their posts. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the code and how to do this using both the get helper and then also how to use it using jQuery and making an Ajax call. So go ahead and go to the code. So all of the code that um, Casper uses, I'm using the default Casper theme, all the code for the navigation is in this navigation.hbs file. So you can see here is the normal, like for each navigation that goes through all the navigation elements you made in the admin section. So this is all what was here before. So now what we need to add is we want to add a list of all the users. So that's where we're going to use the get helper. So I created a new list here and I'm going to use the get helper and say, go get me the users and I want all of them. And then for each user, this is similar to the for each up here, for each user I get back, create a new element with the URL to that user and the name and then close out the for each. So kind of like it shows, the code is pretty straightforward. Go get me all the users, and then for each user you get me back, roll through it, and you can add the URL, name, whatever else, inf whatever other information you want to use for the user. So now for the tags, if we're going to go ahead and use an Ajax call. So I've built an empty list right here called tags list, and now I have a script here that's going to go get me all the tags and then fill in all the HTML data for me. So I'm using jQuery's get, and I'm saying go get me the ghost API URL and get me all the tags from the API. Once that's done, I'm gonna use the data that came back. For each set of data I, that came back, I'm gonna append a new element with a link to the tag in it. So for each one that came back, append a new li element with a URL to the tag, slash tag, and then the tag slug and then append the name on there. And then if that fails, you know, throw the error in the console. So it's very similar if you've used Ajax calls before or jQuery Ajax, it's very similar. Essentially, you're just putting in the Ghost API URL and what data you wanna get, and then you're kind of parsing through the whole thing. So again, what that looks like is we have a list of the authors here using the get helper, and then a list of all the tags here using the public API and an Ajax call. So that's kind of a quick overview of two easy things you can do. The get helper is great for getting information like this, like getting blog information. It's a little bit more difficult to do things like, oh, I want to get all my posts and put them on a completely different page and then have pagination there and all that stuff because the get helper doesn't have all of those handlebars helpers that the regular blog does. So stuff like pagination won't work. You're going to have to actually build in that yourself we have a blog post on how to do that, but it's a lot more complicated than, you know, in the normal loop, he builds the HTML and then has this here, it works great. But to do this via an Ajax call to go get all the posts and then try and do this is a lot more complicated and requires, you know, dozens of lines of JavaScript to get all to work. So it can be done, but it is more complicated. It'll probably get more built out in the future. But for right now, the easy thing to do is to use the get helper to just get blocks of data, like all the users, all the tags, the most recent three posts, if you wanna have like a most recent post in your sidebar. Stuff like that will all work great. It doesn't take any extra customization. You can kinda of just use exactly what it's built for. So Ghost does has been working on a ton of documentation. They're working on it still. They're adding tons of stuff in here, tons of examples. So go check it out, you know, here's the users, they have how to use it using um, jQuery, how to use it using Handlebar, stuff like that. Uh, go check it out there. We also have a bunch of posts, so follow us on Twitter and we've been posting those. Or also if you go to ghostforbeginners.com slash theming, 
Um, we have some posts there as well on different customizations of using the helper, like putting featured posts at the front of your blog and stuff like that. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next Wednesday.